Now, here's a guy that I have been waiting to hear his opinion on 49ers quarterback Brock Purdy, because as we know, Drew Brees has made his name in the NFL for being deadly accurate and being really, really freaking good at the quarterback position, although he didn't have the prototypical stature, size, and body type. He was undersized. He had a uh, serious injury that he had to overcome. There's a lot of parallels between what we've seen from Brock Purdy and what we saw from Drew Brees. So there's a constant comparison in between these two quarterbacks. And so it was great. So uh, this is the first time that I have specifically heard Drew Brees give his evaluation on Brock Purdy. So sit back, take a listen. And he says, he says one thing that I've been preaching for a long time. And I really do think it's one of the most important parts of playing the quarterback position. And Brock has it. And take a listen to what Drew Brees says that is right here when he joined Colin Cowherd on his show and so you probably have a soft spot for brock purdy um i watched him at college and the first time like so he gets drafted at the end and, you know whatever i mean outside of kurt warner romo these guys get drafted late maybe mark brunel most guys get you know good guys get drafted first second third whatever and then all of a sudden he starts winning and i won't give him any credit i'm like well it's, it's shanahan it's a bunch of hall of fame guys and then slowly but surely you're like he's pretty he's pretty good and uh so it took me a while to figure it out it probably took you a lot less to figure it out. When is the first time you watch Purdy? Because you guys have some of the same dimensions in terms of size. When's the first time you watched him? I'm sure it was years before me and went, oh, yeah, this works. This is a franchise guy. No, it really wasn't. I mean, I, when when he when he's, you know, got his first start, you know, midway through his rookie year after Trey Lance goes out and Garoppolo goes out, you know, and all of a sudden here's the basically the third string guy, Mr. Irrelevant, <laughs> coming in. He, he, he I, I mean, I could tell the moment I saw the first half of the first game that he played, I'm like, okay, like this guy is in command of the offense. This guy's in and out of the huddle. He's controlling the line of scrimmage, right? The shifts, the motions, all the things that that offense requires in a field general to be able to coordinate. Oh man, he's got incredible rhythm. He throws with a great base. Um, he's very calm. He's very poised, right? Nothing seems to shake him. You know, so like all those things you I, I, I pick up on right away. And then it's like, okay, where the heck did this guy come from? You know, and then you start looking at it and you're like, okay, this makes perfect sense. Here's a guy who started almost 50 games in college, right? He played at a school where 90% of the time when they stepped on the field, they were the underdog. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Like they weren't winning any beauty contests. They weren't winning the pregame competitions. And they were having to kind of gut it out, right? He had to – he played in a bunch of close games, a bunch of really co competitive games. Like, that molds you, right? That that That's then who you become. That's That, that becomes what you're used to, right? So then all of a sudden these big-time situations going into moments where people are doubting you or you're playing against people that are supposed to be better than you, like, that doesn't phase you anymore, right? So, like, so much of playing this position at the highest level in the NFL – is about confidence, it's about belief, it's about faith. And the guys that are really good at it, there's just an unwavering faith and confidence, no matter what the situation, no matter how, who's hurt around them or what circumstances around them might lead others to say that, hey, they're not gonna be able to get it done. Ah, you embrace that, like you just play with this constant chip on your shoulder and this edge uh, that leads you to be successful. Confidence, I talk about it all the time on this channel when it comes to player evaluation and especially when it comes to quarterback evaluation. It's one of the things that we've talked about with Brock Purdy this season after the Minnesota game. It was one of the key points that I was talking about that I needed to see from Brock. I saw that confidence level at the end of the Minnesota game when they were trying to come back in that game. It wasn't there early on. And as a result, he wasn't playing that great. And what I had said on my channel and on our lives, and as we discussed these things, I said, I want to see a, a, a Brock Purdy at, that we saw at the end of that Minnesota games, that confidence, that will to push your team forward and fight no matter what. I want to see that for 60 minutes. And so far, 
We've gotten that for 120 minutes in a row. The past two games, whether it was the Rams or this past game against the Patriots, it's been it's been nonstop. The the confidence is through the roof. He he really, you know, not like he's listening to me or anything, but again, it was something that I wanted to see and it was an intangible aspect. It wasn't a physical thing. It wasn't got to be more accurate this that and the other. It was an intangible quality that I wanted to see show up on tape with Brock and it did. And that's what Drew Brees is talking about. When he says confidence, when he's talking about the quarterback position, if you don't have confidence in yourself because you're going to make mistakes, you're going to make critical errors, you're going to look bad at times. You have to be confident within your ability to be able to bounce back from that. You have to be able to have short-term memory. You talk about it all the time with football players. Good, bad, wipe it, you're on to the next. You can't let those things linger and, and seep into the next play. So having confidence is huge. When you look at guys like Sam Darnold, one of the reasons why he wasn't successful early on is because he didn't have confidence. He didn't have the, the belief in himself that he could get it done regardless of being one of the more talented quarterbacks in the league. Uh, and you're seeing it now with what he's doing in Minnesota. He has the confidence. He now believes in himself. And as a result, you're seeing his play finally uh, come to fruition. You know, one of the reasons why he was one of the top draft picks. So I love what Drew Brees had to say. And especially coming from a smaller guy like Drew, who went through similar things like Brock. And I love how he equated it to where Brock played college and like what that looked like at his college, how many games he started, you know, the type of team that he was, uh, that he played on and, you know, not winning any beauty contests. They weren't highly ranked and they were always the underdog. And again, you condition yourself to, to be able to execute under a certain level of circumstance. And when you've done it long enough and, and you've been in that fire long enough, the fire doesn't burn you anymore. And I really think that's where what where Brock's at is he's heading into that territory where he is unflappable. He can head into any circumstance, any situation and play with this level of confidence where he isn't just executing the scheme. He isn't just playing within the system. He is the system. He is the the driving factor of this offense he's not just along for the ride everyone loves using that ferrari metaphor he's just he's just driving the ferrari he's the ferrari i i think and that's what i wanted to see from him from these last two weeks and that's what that's what i've seen i've seen a guy who's gone out there and performed at his highest level and the the best thing is he can still improve in certain elements and certain aspects you always can and you can always get better but the thing that I really wanted to see with him was that intangible quality, that will, that drive, that confidence that exudes out of quarterbacks. And he's done it. He's answered the bell. And I think that's been the difference uh, uh, in his play these last two weeks compared to what you saw against Minnesota. So uh, I, I, I love hearing from Drew Brees on the matter. And I love where Brock Purdy's headed. I think this is a, a great spot for Brock. I think he is maturing as a 24-year-old quarterback heading into his second season as a starter. Again, people, people just have such a hard time rationalizing that he's still a young quarterback who's still learning. And um, so, yes, there might be some harsh critics who are really slow to come around. But at the end of the day, what we see is Brock is not only uh, a really, really, really good quarterback, but he is evolving into a better quarterback. And that is that is the best thing, uh, not only for the 49ers, for Brock as he heads into a big time contract year. So you love to see this. I love it. I love everything about it. But you guys let me know what you think about what Drew Brees had to say in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.